Hey, my friend, it's Melanie Ferguson, your host of Creatives on Fire, the podcast where I hope to inspire you to create a profitable six-figure following online. So turn it up and listen in to amazing stories of success, along with behind-the-scenes secrets and valuable tips from, you guessed it, Creatives on Fire. Hey, my sweet friend, Melanie here. I have a couple of questions for you. I want to ask you if you are struggling at all with overwhelm, feeling like you need to be in a million places, not having enough time. Maybe you struggle with feeling like you're not good enough. Or who am I? Who am I to be sharing this with my audience? That imposter syndrome that a lot of us struggle with. What about just knowing what the next step is you should take in your business? Does any of this resonate with you? If so, I'd love to invite you to Creatives on Fire Insiders. This is an amazing group of creatives who are finding success and growing their businesses together. It's designed to stop the overwhelm, to build your confidence, and to guide you through the next steps you should take in your business. A lot of our focus inside is on video and live video specifically, how to get good at it, how to really capitalize on the time that we spend in our businesses. If this sounds like anything that interests you, come spend some time with us, because let's face it, who you spend your time with matters. Check us out at creativesonfireinsiders.com. We'll see you there. Welcome back to the podcast. This week, we are going to tackle a subject that is pretty familiar in the creative online space. I titled the subject, Stay in Your Lane, but it is really about the topic of copying. They say imitation is the highest form of flattery, but as we all know, it doesn't always feel like it's flattery when someone completely copies you. They also say comparison is the thief of joy. And I just want to kind of hone in on that one because I know a lot of time that we spend on social media and surfing the web, we are lured into the trap of comparing ourselves or our talents with others. And I just want to talk about that for a minute. A lot of people choose to spend their time online looking at other people for a few reasons. Number one is maybe they don't know what it is they're supposed to be doing. So they're out there surfing for ideas. Or maybe they're unsure of how to do something. So they turn to the internet for instructions. And those things are fine. Like you need to try a lot of different things and explore a lot of different things and grasp that inspiration. But the third reason is that maybe they're just lazy and they don't want to take the time or energy to figure out what it is they're supposed to be doing or how to do the thing. And they end up just completely ripping off someone else's talents or someone else's ideas. And that is not good. Listen, my friend, you have been given specific talents and assignments that are special to you. And your job is to figure out what they are and what you enjoy. You need to do what you're good at, what you're comfortable doing. You will live super frustrated and continually disappointed if you live your life comparing yourself to others or copying others. You literally need to stay in your lane or your life will become a wreck. Ask me how I know. So let's go back to several years back when I had a brick and mortar storefront all was well. Things were clicking. We were going shopping. We were getting amazing products that were selling well. And then I started looking at what other shops were doing. And I was like, well, Melanie, they are painting furniture. So I would get furniture and I would paint it 
and I would sell it. And that worked, but it wasn't enjoyable. So it was really hard for me to keep up with the demand of people wanting painted furniture. Then I looked around some more and I saw that other storefronts were offering t-shirts that they made in-house. And I thought, well, that can't be that hard. So I invested all these machines, all this time and energy into creating my very own line of boutique t-shirts. I was so proud of myself. Well, all was great until the first customer reached out to me and said, "Um, my t-shirt disintegrated after the first use or wear. And so immediately I realized I didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to copy what other people were doing and failing miserably at doing it. I had left the heat press on the design way too long and it literally burned the fibers in the shirt. You just couldn't see until the person put them on. I ran over to the racks where all of the shirts were and touched the shirt and sure enough, they would make holes everywhere you touched them. This was a super hard lesson to learn. But you guys, it taught me you cannot be everything. You cannot be good at everything. You don't need to spend your life trying to do everything and being like everybody else. You just need to be yourself because honestly, everybody else is taken. That is huge. You don't have to be what everybody else is or what everybody else does. If you're unhappy, it's just because you're trying to do something that you're not meant to do. I was so upset about the t-shirts and I just kind of reached out to God and was like, why, why? You know, I tried so hard and I worked so hard and I prayed to you about, you know, how I should run this business and what I should do. And do you know what he said? He said, I didn't tell you to make t-shirts. I didn't tell you you should bring them in-house. I didn't tell you to paint furniture. And I realized in that moment that I was not getting still and quiet. I wasn't having quiet time so that I could really focus on what I should be doing, really understanding what my true talents were. My friend, there are so many things out there that you can do with your time and your talents. Your job is to seek them out. You need to figure out what your gifts are and then give yourself to them. Work on the gifts. Focus on the gifts. Instead of doing 40 different things because that's what everybody else is doing, you should figure out what are the two to three things that you actually don't mind doing and are kind of good at. And then focus on those, get better at those, grow those talents, and you will become a gift to others. You will provide the inspiration to others because we do need the inspiration, guys. There's really nothing under the sun that hasn't been thought of or done. You just need to go get inspired and then put your own talents, your own twist, your own personality on those ideas. I'm going to wrap this up with saying that you don't need to settle for being someone else or being even like someone else or doing something that someone else is doing. You simply just need to be the best version of you possible. You don't have to do everything. You just need to do what you're good at, what you're comfortable at. You cannot enjoy life if you are trying to spend it being just like someone else. I promise you, trying to be what you're not will steal your peace and your joy. And you are here to live life and have it abundantly. And in order to do that, you need to get really still Focus on what you're comfortable at. What do people say you're good at? What do you enjoy doing? And then really doubling down on that. That is going to be 
the key to your peace, your happiness, your joy, and your ultimate success. My friend, I hope this little talk inspires you to really make some changes. If you are spending time on social media and looking at other people and you're finding yourself getting drawn into them and really being jealous of what it is that they're doing, you need to stop and realize that God gave them those gifts and those ideas specific to them. And it was to just so that you could enjoy them, not so that you could be them or copy them or rip off that idea. You need to be you because everybody else is already taken. You will find so many more people will be attracted to you because of your difference. There's nothing wrong with you if you want to be different. Just because you have blue eyes and I have brown eyes does not make us any less than each other. We can totally both be successful with the color of eyes we were given if we lean into them and don't try to turn them a different color. You're given your talents and your creative juices for your own success. No one else's. I just want you to learn from my hard lessons, which were comparing and really being envious of really like how many follows someone got or how many likes someone's project got. If you're in the DIY space, you know what I'm talking about. Or this keyword did amazing for this person. Did you know you could use the same keyword and completely flop? It is not just as it appears, guys. There's so much more that goes on out there than just, I'm going to make this exact same DIY project that this other person made, and it's going to go viral too. No, no, that is not the case. That is not how life works. Guys, there are so many things that go into someone else's success that aren't going to necessarily equal success for you. So my advice is to learn how to discipline yourself to either spend a short amount of time either figuring out how to do something or getting your inspiration and then hopping off the platforms and getting still and quiet and figuring out what it is that makes you special and is going to make your work special so that you can go shine a light and inspire others. Listen, it has been amazing chatting with you. I hope you guys got something from this episode. And as always, stay creative. Thank you so much, my friend, for listening to the podcast. I'm blessed every single time you come back and listen to an episode. It's especially amazing when you share it with others on social media. So be sure to follow Creatives on Fire online. Listen, if you have not already done so, I want you to go ahead and download the five ideas I personally used to explode my online audience growth to a six-figure following. You can find that at creativesonfirepodcast.com. I appreciate you. And until next time, stay inspired. Oh,